Okay, good day everyone. This is the second lecture, lecture video for poultry production. And our topic for this video will um, focus on the different species of poultry. Okay, so I will be giving you a glimpse of the different species of poultry, the uh, origin of chicken, the development of modern breeds or varieties, and finally, the classification of chickens. So we have here a list of the various species of poultry, from chicken down to the guinea fowl, okay? And opposite is their respective scientific name and their corresponding egg weight together with uh, their incubation period. So yung egg weight nila, this is expressed in grams and incubation period is expressed uh, in days, okay? So I will not be reading them one by one since you already have a... Uh, copy of this, but I would just like to emphasize that chicken has a 21-day uh, incubation period. So, you have learned in your ANSI 20 the scientific names of all of this. And yung scientific name ng chicken, huwag na huwag nyong kakalimutan dahil mabilis lang siyang i-memorize. So, um, galus galus domesticus. But other scientists or other references, um, ginagamit lang yung galus galus. Okay? But to emphasize yung domesticated chicken natin, uh, nag, uh, uh, nag i include yung mga uh, authors ng domesticus. Okay? What else? Yung incubation period ng chicken, yes, is 21 uh, days. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng incubation uh, period? So, this is the time or the period or duration needed for an egg to hatch. Okay? So, yung mean egg weight niya is 58 grams. Okay? Uh, what else is, if you notice, yung quail natin, uh, scientifically name, uh, named as Coturnix Coturnix has the lightest egg. No? So, siya yung pina may pinakamagaan na egg. So, 12 grams lang siya. And of course, um, siya yung may pinaka short, or yung shortest na incubation period. 16 to 18 days only. Although, halos malapit lang sila. Siya sa pigeon. Okay? And then, we also have here yung ostrich in comparison um, siya yung pinakamabigat yung egg. More than 1 kilo yung egg niya. And then, of course, uh, as a result, siya yung may longest incubation period. Longest duration of incubation. Which is more than uh, 1 month. More, uh, almost 1 and a half uh, months. Okay? So, I hope you will be uh, familiarizing yourself with the different species of poultry together with their scientific names, their egg weight, and then yung incubation uh, period nila. Okay? Now, let's talk about history, no? The origin of chicken, okay? The domestication of chicken dates back to at least 2000 BC. And their ancestry can be traced back to four species of wild jungle fowl, Okay? And ano yung, uh, from Southeast Asia, and ano yung mga uh, species ng jungle fowl na yun? Uh, we have here, we have here the red, the gray, the green, and the ceylon. The gray jungle fowl is scientifically identified as the Gallus sonerati, the green is Gallus varius, and ceylon yung Gallus uh, lafayette. Okay? Yung red natin, which is scientifically known as uh, Gallus Gallus, so uh, this is the primary ancestor of all domestic chickens. So it is the most commonly found uh, wild, or it is the, yes, it is the most commonly found wild species of chicken today. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, ang scientific name ng chicken natin ngayon at present is um, derived from this Gallus Gallus, from the red jungle fowl. Kasi nga, um, this is the primary ancestor of all domestic chickens. Okay? Um, although, meron ding mga um, genes galing sa gray, sa green, and ceylon no? na composition ng uh, modern chickens natin. But, sabi ko nga, most of the genetic composition of chicken is from this red jungle fowl. Okay? So, ito yung itsura ng red jungle fowl, particularly yung rooster natin. So, in the next slides, makikita ninyo yung ano yung itsura ng gray jungle fowl, the green jungle fowl, and of course, yung Ceylon jungle fowl natin. Okay? So, this figure shows you the geographic distribution of the four jungle fowl 
species from the study of course of Lawal et al in 2020 okay um so let me make this image uh, bigger okay so yung distribution ng red jungle fowl colored in red so yung may uh, malawak yung distribution including the philippines so sa philippines ang makikita natin mostly ay um, red jungle fowl okay Okay. In the past, marami yung red jungle fowl natin. And then, we also have here, yung gray na kulay is the gray jungle fowl. Okay? So, this is particularly in South uh, Asia. We have also here yung violet. If you look at, if you can um, see this small island here. This is Sri Lanka. Okay? This Ceylon jungle fowl is named after the old name of Sri Lanka. And the old name of Sri Lanka is Ceylon. Okay? So this is endemic to Sri Lanka. The Ceylon jungle fowl. And we also have here yung green jungle fowl. This part here is in Java, Indonesia. And this green jungle fowl is endemic to uh, Java, Indonesia and its neighboring um, islands. Okay? So, yun. Pinakita lang yung distribution ng iba't ibang klase ng uh, jungle fowl species. Okay? And then, we also have here another research okay, uh, conducted by Laurel, Lawler sorry, in the year 2012. So, pinakita na dito yung uh, same lang, halos pareho lang yung uh, previous uh, figure kanina. Although, yung sa Philippines, kung makikita nyo, hindi nakasama sa study niya. Kasi nga, sabi dito, four kinds of jungle fowl live in forests across South Asia lang. Uh, ang main focus niya. Okay? Although, meron siyang um, in-include na Indonesia. And alam natin na yung Indonesia is part ng Southeast uh, Asia. Okay. So, what else? We have here, ito yung red jungle fowl uh, kanina, which is napakita ko na. We also have here yung um, gray jungle fowl. Ito yung itsura ng gray jungle fowl. I hope you can see the image clearly. And we also have here yung Ceylon jungle fowl. Some, sometimes they call it as Ceylonese jungle fowl or yung Sri Lanka jungle fowl. Okay? And then, yung green jungle fowl natin, so very uh, um, iba yung characteristic niya uh, as compared to um, the other three. Kasi very colorful yung comb niya. Uh, all, may, mga, may blue, may um, shade of pink, and blue. Uh, violet, okay? So, yun yung gray, uh, green jungle fowl, rather. Okay, so that's, uh, I hope you can distinguish the four uh, species from which our modern chicken have descended. Now, let's proceed to the development of modern breeds and varieties of chickens. So, if you are to compare yung quantitative characters ng chicken natin ngayon and yung wild jungle fowl, especially in terms of egg number, egg production, egg size, egg weight, body weight, etc. So, lahat ng quantitative traits, makikita natin na yung modern chicken natin is, of course, performing better than that of our wild jungle fowl because of development. Okay? Um, in terms of qualitative characteristics such as yung temperament niya, so mas maamo yung modern chicken natin because it has already undergone domestication. And when we say domestication, alam natin na uh, ang keyword for domestication is care and management of man. So kapag inaalagaan yan, sineselect at saka binibreed, uh, with time, we uh, napapaamo natin yung animal. Okay, so nagiging adaptable siya sa environment ng tao, sa practices ng tao. Okay, uh, so ano yung mga qualitative characteristics? Sabi ko nga, temperament. Uh, what else yung breeding seasonality, etc. Okay, uh, adaptability to environmental conditions. Right, so what contributed to the development of modern varieties or breeds? So these three things here, genetic mutation, selection, and mating systems. Uh, I will be discussing this uh, further. So, yung if you uh, um, recall, yung mutation, especially uh, trending yung word na mutations. Mutation, lalong-lalo na 
ngayong uh, COVID-19, if, if you uh, are uh, observant or if you are a listener sa mga news or kahit sa social media pages, naririnig nyo yung word na variant, COVID-19 variant. And yung variant na yun, nagre-result siya sa, uh, or nagre-result, nagre-result siya dahil sa mutation. So, why does mutation happen? Ano yung mutation? Yung mutation, it is a sudden change in the um, DNA sequence of an organism. So, pwede sa, uh, sa ha- lahat, lahat ng living organisms. So, this happens when the individual or the organism adapts to its changing environment. And since this is genetic in nature, this is heritable. Big sabihin na ipapasa siya from one generation to the next. Okay? Yun yun. So, balik tayo ulit sa, sa ating example na COVID-19 variants. Bakit nagkakaroon ng variants? Kasi sa ginagawa natin, of course, we people or humans, we we practice yung mga social distancing, mga minimum health standards, etc. So, naiiwasan natin yung pag-spread ng virus. Naiwasan or nakokontrol natin yung strength niya over us. But, the virus responds to our practices, yung minimum health standards natin. Kaya siya nag-mutate. Its mutation will result now to the different variants. If you recall, you have your UK variant, South Africa variant, etc. Kaya, nagiging mas uh, adaptable siya sa environment natin, both internal and external environment. Yung internal sa kinakain natin, sa mga tin-i-intake natin na vitamins, etc. Pampastrong, yung mga ganon. So, kailangan niya ding mag-adapt sa environment natin dahil nga gusto niyang mag-survive. Tulad din sa uh, modern breeds and varieties, nangyayari yung genetic mutation kasi gusto natin. Kasi nga, uh, we as breeders or as producers or as poultry racers, we want to develop varieties or breeds. That's why, ito, we permit genetic mutation. Okay? Next. So, I hope that's clear although medyo ang daming uh, branches ng aking example. Okay, let's proceed to the second one, which is selection. Okay, over the years, chickens have developed adaptability to extreme weather conditions. And since this trait is favorable, this is, uh, when we say favorable, this is favored by selection, whether it be natural selection or artificial uh, selection. Okay, yung natural selection, alam natin, if you recall, in your high school days or even in your elementary, if you had some, Natural selection is selection by nature. This is survival of the fittest. It is the environment which allows, which permits, or which decides which among the individuals survive in a particular population and reproduce. Yun yung natural selection. It's the environment yung nag-decide. Sa so artificial selection, yung tao, it's the man that decides, it's the man that intervenes. Siya yung nagsaset ng se- uh, selection criteria kung sino sa mga individuals in a particular population yung magsasurvive at magre-reproduce. Okay? Yun yung uh, artificial selection. In short, this is selective breeding conducted by man. Okay? So, yun. Uh, this selection, kaya yung selective breeding. When we select, what do, what do we select? Do we select those uh, individuals with undesirable traits. Hindi naman, di ba? So, we select individuals with, of course, desirable traits. Siyempre, ayaw naman natin yung mga poor performing. We select those uh, better performing individuals, okay, uh, than the average of the population. Kaya, when we select the better for performing individuals to produce the next generation, then, ang mangyayari, unti-unti yung madadevelop yung breed or variety na gusto nating i-improve. Okay, and then another one is, ano yung susunod? Mating system. So, this could be in breeding or particularly yung uh, line breeding natin or cross breeding. So, it takes years to develop a particular breed or variety because it has to undergo, balik tayo ulit sa selection, it has to undergo strict and constant selection. So, yung criteria 
that need to be followed in breeding chickens or whatever farm animal that is have to be set so that the expected genetic improvement will be achieved. But because the production in, uh, cycle in chicken is relatively shorter than in other farm animals, it is much easier to develop breeds or varieties in the poultry industry, particularly in chicken. So, yung mating systems natin could be line breeding or outbreeding or more particularly yung crossbreeding natin. Okay? Uh, yung line breeding, by the way, is usually done to purify a particular breed or variety. Kung gusto natin mag-develop ng uh, pure or yung distinct lang yung karakteristik niya uh, as a group, no? yun yung uh, line breeding. Yung cross breeding natin, ginagawa natin siya to produce um, animals or to produce breeds na for commercial production. Okay? So, pangbenta. Yun siya. So, this could be uh, favorable to growth performance traits or yung egg production traits natin. Okay? Whichever trait we, uh, we want to improve. Okay, so that's a long discussion no, for the development of modern varieties. Okay, we also have here um, yung classification of chickens. This is the last subtopic under uh, the species of poultry, no? um, the classification of chickens. So we have here terms which are used in classifying or distinguishing chickens from one another. When we say class, this is a group of breeds developed in a particular geographic area. Yun yun. So it could be uh, in uh, the, the breeds could be developed in England. Kaya mayroon tayong tinatawag ng English class. Uh, could be developed in the Mediterranean uh, region. Kaya may, mayroon tayong tinatawag na Mediterranean class. Mayroon din tayong tinatawag na uh, Asiatic class. So na-develop siya sa Asia, etc. Okay? Yung breed... By the way, we'll be having examples later. Yung breed naman, this is a group of chickens within a class. So, subdivision siya ng class, similar in body, shape, and form. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, sa yung group ng chickens within a class, na pare-pareho yung, yung characteristics nila. So, ibig sabihin, they have distinct characteristics and they can reproduce their own kind. Okay? So, yun yung breed. So, similar in body, shape, and form. And then, yung variety, which is a more specific subdivision of a breed, identified by yung plumage colors, anong kulay ng plumage niya, or feather color. And then, yung comb type. Usually, yun yung um, classification criteria or yung selection criteria. Okay, where am I at? No? Meron lang uh, bisita kanina. So, let me proceed with my discussion. Anyway, so yung variety, um, yung criteria natin for um, classifying or grouping chickens by plumage color or comb type is, uh, or yung grouping natin for varieties is pare-pareho sila ng plumage color. Pare-pareho ng comb type, single comb yan, or yung pea comb yan, uh, rose comb, etc. Yun yung variety, Okay. So, what else we have here? Strain. So, strain more specific siya. This is, uh, this refers to, the, to a closed population within a variety which has been under constant selection for certain traits by a specified breeder for about 5 to 8 years. So, matagal yung pag-develop or, yes, pag-develop or pag-improve ng specific strain of a chicken. So, it takes 5 to 8 years. Sometimes, it lasts for decades. No? Okay, so that's how patient breeders and geneticists are. So, yung, magbigay tayo ng example, ha? Uh, we have uh, a breed. Say, for example, ang breed natin is leghorn. Uh, tapos, yung variety natin, uh, of course, yung leghorn, merong yang um, ibat-ibang klase. Okay? Hmm. Merong iba't ibang kulay. Sa variety, meron tayong tinatawag na white leghorn. Ano yung white doon? Yung plumage color. Okay? Plumage color yung white. White leghorn. And then, um, to be more specific than white leghorn, we also have yung single comb white leghorn. Ano yun? Ano yung sinasabi kong single comb la la white leghorn? That's the most common egg type na chicken natin. Okay? Yun yung most common uh, egg type natin. 
So, single comb, yun yung comb type. And then, yung white is yung plumage color. Kaya, tinawag siyang single comb white leghorn. Okay? Let's move on to the classification of chickens. By the way, uh, I have here uh, two important references. So, we have here yung... Uh, uh, published uh, one of the well-known published books okay uh, we have here the american standard of perfection which is a periodically updated book so in update yan periodically it could be either um, biannually annually quarterly etc okay this was first published in 1874 Okay, so, magkasunod lang sila ni American Poultry Association, which was founded in 1873. Okay, so, in 1874, nung unang pinablish ito, ang tawag sa kanya ay Standard of Excellence. Okay, which describes yung uh, all recognized breeds and varieties of domestic poultry. Okay, so, more than 100 yung recognized na breeds by the American Poultry Association. So, this is an uh, organization. This is the oldest poultry organization which was uh, founded in North America. Okay? So, this APA or APA is the um, pri uh, its, prim uh, its primary objective no, is to standardize yung many varieties of domestic fowls that we have. So, big sabihin, domestic fowls, hindi lang yung chickens yung nandoon sa uh, libro na ito. Meron ding turkey, etc. Okay? Uh, what else? Now, we move on yung, to sa tinatawag nating uh, classification or yung standard classification of chicken. So, yung standard classification of chicken is grouping of chickens based on their geographical area. So, una, we have here the American class. Uh, of course, saan siya na-develop? Sa America. Okay? So, among the breeds included in the American class is we have here the Plymouth Rock, the Wyandotte, the Rhode Island Red, the New Hampshire, and the Jersey Giant. So, ano yung characteristics ng mga breeds that belong to the American class? We have yellow skin and shanks. So, makikita nyo yellow skin and mm, So, I don't think if this belongs to the American class. So, let me uh, uh, correct this one. We have here red earlobes, okay, but according to my reference, this is a Jersey Giants. Okay, so most have yellow skin and yellow shanks. And then red earlobe, if you look at their earlobe, uh, red siya. And then non-feathered shanks, so walang um, feather sa shank nila. Ano yung shank? Yung leg part. Okay, dito. Okay, this is the shank. And then, they lay brown-shelled eggs. Okay. That's the characteristics of the breeds belonging to the American class. Next, we have the Asiatic class. So, of course, these are chickens uh, developed in Asia. We have three common breeds, yung Brahma, Cochin, and Langshan. Yung Brahma, Cochin, and Langshan, ano yung common sa kanila? Sa, sa American class, hindi, walang feathers, di ba? Walang feathers sh sa shanks. Dito, feathered shanks, no? Hmm. Very, uh, Fancy ang dating. Ano? So, large bodies. So, malalaki sila. Heavy bones, yellow skin, red earlobe, and they also lay brown shelled eggs. Okay? Next, we move on to the third class, Mediterranean class. So, ito yung mga common breeds. We have here the Ancona, Blue Andalusian, Leghorn. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina na Leghorn. Yung layer type na uh, breed natin ng chicken. And then, uh, Minorca uh, and yung white-faced black Spanish natin. Ano yung characteristics? Feathers are tightly arranged so with, with their body. Ano? Smaller size so in, in comparison sa ano yung Asiatic class, di ba malalaki yung uh, katawan ng nasa Asiatic class. Dito sa Mediterranean class, smaller size. Makikita naman natin sa picture, no? Medyo Medyo payat ang itsura. Medyo mas maliit. And then, early layers sila. Okay? So, maaga silang mangitlog. So, ibig sabihin, early sexual maturity sila. And then, white yung earlobe nila. O, oh, ba White yung earlobe, white. Okay? And then, they, all, they lay uh, white-shelled eggs. Sa previous, yung 1 and 2, 
they lay brown shelled eggs. Okay? And then finally, yung fourth class natin, yung English class. So, these are breeds of chickens developed in England. Yung common breeds natin, we have the Australor, Cornish, or Dorking, Orpington, and Sussex. So, ito yung Australor, Cornish, Dorking, Orpington, and Sussex. Um, they are generally used for meat purposes. Diba? Uh, ano to? Parang broiler to, no? Kasi, yung broiler natin ngayon, um, this, the broiler was developed from the Cornish na breed. No? Uh, Krinos yung Cornish na breed to a specific breed of, uh, to another breed of chicken. Okay? So, white skin sila except yung Cornish. No? Na yellow yung skin. And this, although they are generally used for meat purposes, they also lay brown shelled eggs. Okay? They lay brown shelled eggs except doon sa dito, except sa Dorking, which is quite white shell yung egg niya. Okay? Uh, what else? We also have here, yung, so yung nauna natin, yung apat, they are a group. Yung breeds natin ay group according to geographical area. Dito naman, yung classification natin is based on utility. So, ano yung gamit? Okay? Uh, is it for egg type, for meat type, for fa fancy, for uh, game fowl, etc. So, una, we have the egg type. Ang characteristics, general characteristics ng mga egg type, egg, di, egg type chickens natin is smaller in body size, such as yung leghorn, no? They lay large white shelled eggs. They are active and nervous in temperament, okay? They are non-seaters. Uh, what else? So, what are the common breeds? Leghorn, Minorca, Ancona, and Mikawa. And then, for the meat type, in comparison to your egg type, they are larger in size, in body size. Slow moving sila kasi mabigat yung katawan. No? Uh, quiet and gentle in disposition. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang broiler natin ay ito. Ito yung kamukha ng broiler. Uh, dahil slow moving sila, so mas quiet and gentle. Hindi sila active. No? Hindi sila aggressive ko in terms of temperament. Ano? They are poor egg layers kasi nga they are bred or developed for meat production. And then, yung mga hens of course, they lay brown shelled eggs. So, common breeds, we have here the common breeds. Brahma, Cochin, Langshan, Cornish, and White Rock. And then, we also have here yung du dual purpose type. So, when we say dual purpose type, they are bred for, uh, they can be used for meat or egg production. Uh, meat and egg production. So, and yun, and egg production. So, medium size. So, gitna lang. Good layers, but they also have heavy set bills. So, kahit na yung itlog sila, uh, maganda or mas malaki yung katawan nila uh, as compared to our egg type chickens. Okay? So, yung common breeds natin, dual purpose type, we have the Black Australorp, Sussex, Swain Road, Orpington, and Rhode Island Red. Yung Black Austra Australorp natin is one of the best dual purpose chickens okay it uh, is considered as a fantastic egg layer okay they actually hold the record for laying the most number of eggs in a year yun yung black australor natin and then fourth is yung fancy or ornamental type so of course from the term itself fancy or ornamental they have beautiful plumage no rare yung appearance nila so unusual no it's redundant, no? Rare, unusual. And they are uh, usually used for, uh, used as ornamentals or pets. So, ginagamit sila. Hindi sila ginagamit for meat production, but rather, they are used as, uh, for aesthetic purposes. Okay? And then, yung common breeds, we have the frizzel, the bantam, and yung long-tailed natin, na breed. Okay? We also have here, yung last na classification based on utility or use is yung game fowls natin. Okay? Ano yung example ng game fowls natin? Of course, yung tinatawag natin commonly na Texas. Ano? So, of course, they are generally characterized as of the fighting type. No? For gameness sila, for pugnacity and stamina. So, very aggressive sila, mataas sila, lumipad, etc. Okay? Yung common breeds natin is, of course, here, Rubble, Jose, Claret, and Oasis. Okay? So, I hope... Uh, Everything is clear for this topic, for the species of poultry, you know.
So this ends my discussion for uh, the species of poultry. Thank you very much everyone and uh, I'll send you again uh, another video for the specialized fields of uh, in poultry. Okay, thank you very much.